Hi everyone, Jolene here from Bookworm Adventure Girl. Welcome back. To those who are new, thanks for checking out my channel. Today is the beginning of a long weekend, so I thought that I would do my first ever reading vlog. Um, over the next four days, I will let you know what I'm reading and a little bit about what we are doing. Um, all weekends for us, especially during COVID, are pretty chill and low key. My guess is that will sum up this weekend as well. Today is Good Friday. I celebrated the Stations of the Cross already and made sure that my Friday video, which was my March wrap up, was ready to go out. Um, we have pretty decent weather. It's still a bit chilly, but I think if we dress up warm enough, it should be okay. So I think the pups and I are going to go out for a bit of a walk. Um, and I will be making fish for supper tonight. Salmon is one of our favorite meals around here. We usually travel on Good Friday to my aunt and uncle's. Um, they live about three and a half hours away. So we go to church together and then some of the family have fish and chips and just visit and it's a great time. And of course, because of COVID, we won't be doing that. And that means that there will just be the two of us, my mom and I, and of course the pups. Um, we are also planning to watch some movies this weekend and I'm hoping to get some reading done. I will show you like a few of the books that um, are around me right now. The only book that I have to read this weekend is Interlunar, which is a poetry collection by Margaret Atwood. Um, I need to read that and do Monday's video for the Mondays with Margaret series. Um, that all needs to happen in the next couple of days. Um, it's also National Poetry Month, so I might read some more poetry this weekend. I will definitely be reading poetry um, throughout this month at some point. Um, and then one novel that I would really like to finish this weekend is How the One-Armed Sister Sweeps Her House by Sherry Jones. Sherry Dr Jones is a writer from Barbados, and this is her debut novel. And I've started it a while ago. I'm kind of taking my time with it, but I think that I'll be able to finish it in the next few days. So I will come back in a bit and let you know how things go. Hi everyone. So I have a quick little video showing you how our day went. The pups and I did get out for a walk. Uh, we walked along the canal. It was just a short walk, probably about two and a half kilometers. I don't think it was quite three kilometers but they had a lot of fun, so I will show you that. Uh, we did have our salmon dinner, which was delicious, and we also watched a couple of movies. Both of the movies were based on true stories, and um, we watched The Dig, and my favorite of the two, which was Green Book. Uh, both, I think, are worth checking out on Netflix if you haven't already seen them. I didn't read a whole lot today, but I did get further, um, probably about halfway, maybe a bit more into how the one-armed sister sweeps her house. I love how this is written and the language it uses. So that's it for tonight. Um, sleep well, and I will check in again tomorrow.
uh, or maybe it's afternoon. One of my favorite things is sleeping in on the weekends, so I take full advantage of that. Yesterday, Mom and I finally made a decision on how we are going to celebrate Easter. Usually if we have a lot of company, we'll have a big feast, but for just the two of us, we thought that we would do something a little bit different, and we decided to do high tea. So this means that I had to look up scone recipes, and maybe more importantly, I also had to look up clotted cream recipes. And it turns out that clotted cream is actually quite simple to make, um, but it takes a very, very long time, like 24 hours long. So I went out to the grocery store to get a few ingredients for our plans, and I did a bit of prep today. And then as for reading, I read a bit more of How the One-Armed Sister Sweeps Her House, and I should probably finish it tomorrow. I also started reading um, Interlunar, and I should be able to finish that up tomorrow as well. We watched one movie today. We watched Breakaway, which was a fun movie about a hockey team in Toronto. It's another Netflix movie to check out if you haven't already seen it. I hope everyone is having a good weekend so far. I will show you a bit of our day today and then I will check in again tomorrow. to all of those watching who celebrate. Happy Passover to those who are celebrating Passover and happy Sunday for those grateful to have a long weekend. It was another beautiful day today. I watched church online since that's how that is done for us right now. Um, then I prepared for our high tea today so I will show you a little of what that looked like. It was my first time making scones and my first time making clotted cream and both were quite successful so you will see a bit of that as well. Um, we didn't watch any movies today but I did get to finish How the One-Armed Sister Sweeps Her House. Um, this book was intriguing from its title to the very end. It was not exactly what I thought it was going to be about. Um, but in saying that, I'm not sure exactly what I thought it would be, so um, a heads up that there is a lot of domestic violence, so that might be a trigger for some people. Um, the story is about a woman named Lala and her husband Aiden. They live on Baxter's Beach, which I think is a fictional place, and Lala braids hair for the tourists and her husband cons the tourists and steals from them and sells them drugs. When Lala gets pregnant, there is hope that this baby will bring joy into their lives. But when Lala goes into labor, she ends up at the wrong place at the wrong time. And Aiden blames Lala for everything. And from that moment on, more tragedy strikes and Lala has to figure out how to get out of this marriage. And I won't say too much because I will talk about it more in my April wrap-up, but I will say that the writing is quite beautiful and I was impressed by a lot of things in this book. Um, I also finished Interlunar by Margaret Atwood and I prepared for doing the Mondays with Margaret video. Um, so I won't talk about it here because that video will actually go live before <laughs> this one does. So enjoy the video of the high tea and the puppy naps. Tomorrow is going to be a cleaning up and preparing for work kind of day. So there will be more time to read and I will have to figure out um, what that will be. So I have a few that I am considering. So stay tuned to find out what I end up choosing.
everyone. As expected, today was just a chill day. We did some cleaning up and some puppy cuddles, and it was nice to have the day off to sleep in and do whatever we felt like. Um, I think I mentioned, but I'm not sure, that we are in the third wave of the pandemic, and we are in another lockdown. Now, they aren't calling it a lockdown. <laughs> they are calling it an emergency break shutdown, which I don't know if that sounds better. Um, I'm not really sure what it all means at this point. I do know that it's for a minimum of four weeks and it seems that they keep coming up with new words and phrases, but essentially many things are closed. Um, our schools aren't closed in my area, at least not yet. So I do have to go to work tomorrow. We work for four days this week and then we are off for our spring break, which um, is normally for us in March, but they moved it to April due to COVID. Um, I did manage to start reading two books today. I am reading The Girl from Dream City, A Literary Life by Linda Leith. This book was sent to me by ZG Stories and the University of Regina Press, and I'm really looking forward to getting into it a bit more. And the other book I am also excited about is Cold New Climate by Isabel Wool, and I've talked about this book before. Um, it is the first ever publication from Weather Glass Books, and so far, so good. And I actually have two copies of this book, and I asked the publishers if I could use one as a giveaway, and they said yes. So stay tuned for that. I'm hoping to have a giveaway by the end of the month. So hopefully I will finish these two novels up this week, along with The Handmaid's Tale, um, which is next Monday's book for the Mondays with Margaret series and I will have a special edition of The Handmaid's Tale to show you and to share with you next Monday. Um, as I was reading we had some book mail arrive and I received the last three books for my collection of the vintage classic Russian series. Um, most of these books are massive and I've only read Anna Karenina but I'm hoping to read all six of the books in the collection eventually. Um, maybe even attempt Anna Karenina again. Uh, we will see how that goes. I will show you some video from today and the books that I've talked about. Thanks again for joining me on my first ever reading vlog. I hope that you have had a really good weekend. Enjoy the rest of your week and don't forget to make every day an adventure. Mm -hmm.